I still have a little bit of ice in my driveway that hasn't completely melted away on that side of the house. So are we going to be getting any more to add to it? Maybe a little bit. And clearly you don't shovel or scrape anything. So <laughs> we've made that I'm not going to shovel up. that ice. I guess I could throw some stuff down, but I don't walk that direction okay. as a drive right, over well, it. <laughs> well, then the an quick answer is yes. We may get a little bit more. <laughs> Doesn't look like a substantial. Also don't have a coworker offering to come help. Well, get on that, Christina. <laughs> All right, low, <laughs> low temperatures <What>? tonight are <laughs> going to be at or below freezing. Cloudy skies, a light winter mix possible. Mainly freezing drizzle or a little sleeve of light snow. The amounts will be light. Maybe just enough to make it look a little wintry in the morning, but more importantly, maybe a few slick spots. But we'll actually warm back above freezing. Drizzle a few showers around on Wednesday and then rain chances by Thursday and Friday and that'll be the main round of the system and even that it's not a ton of rain this time uh, but just a little bit more precipitation than what we'll see tonight. 35 degrees southeast wind at 10 miles per hour made it up to a high of 42 degrees today. That was even with that wind. Never felt that warm, but highs reaching 44 at Barnes and Manhattan, 40 for Holton as well as at Onega today. And now we're back down in the low to mid 30s. And it's these areas getting to 30 at Lawrence, 32 Burlington, even 33 for Emporia. That's before the precipitation comes in and cools it down a couple more degrees. And so with that in mind, yeah, we'll have a breeze. A lot of times it keeps us warmer. It doesn't look to keep us warm enough for tonight. It does add the chill, and that drops wind chill to 23 at Emporia and Burlington, 27 in Topeka. Feels like 32 at Clay Center. But the more important part of the night is, is obviously that cold enough temperature range with cloud cover building in. We're tracking this area of precipitation. It's not a huge area, but it'll pass right over the region, and it'll be moving in during a part of the night it will be cold enough to support a winter mix. KSNT Future Track shows that light winter mix around 10 o'clock to the southwest spreads over the area with kind of a mix type of precipitation between 1 and 3 a.m. And that'll push on through and will be dry other than maybe some drizzle for the rest of Wednesday. Heading into Thursday, here comes the larger area of rain. Thursday through Thursday evening and then on into Thursday night and Friday, this will push east and likely not much lingering precipitation into the colder air. Tonight, down to 30 degrees with that light winter mix. Lake could see some slick spots develop on area roadways in the morning. Your KST Storm Track 7 day forecast 40 for the high tomorrow, then mid 40s Thursday and Friday. Best rain chance will be Thursday into early Friday, followed by much colder weather over the weekend. Slight chance for some morning snow showers on Saturday, but mainly dry over a large part of the weekend. There's a look at the beautiful sunset in Overbrook this evening from Gary Hoffsummer, as well as some frost on the window this morning at Hoyt from Dave Edwards. So definitely be careful. Morning commute tomorrow. That's right. We'll be tracking any changes in the road conditions. Tune in tomorrow morning for KSNT News starting at 430. All right. Thanks, Matt.